On this episode of Not Well, we talk about being deep throated by an EGG camera and Chinese balloons. Karaoke. And we talk about Walmart and driving around with a Pringles can full of wine. We talk about the endless stream of police shootings. And we talk about the Columbus Cruiser that also is dedicated to Black History Month. We talk about Bobby's incessant spending habits. We also talk about Bobby's mental breakdown. All this (laughs) and more. Let's get to the show. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Not Well. I'm Bobby. And I'm George Santos. Uh, we just heard George Santos and well, wasn't very good. I feel like we could do as well as him at a karaoke bar. I do, too. I feel like I could do better. I feel like it's embarrassing that he had the app to do karaoke. Like, that, who has that? That's cringe. Like, if you're not at a karaoke bar with your friends, why are you doing karaoke? In a world where being a huge liar is accepted and being normal is boring, one man brings his talents to the House of Representatives in a way you never knew. Fun, 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 fun. Hallelujah is one of his best. Someone who has seen the light, it's cold and it's broken, hallelujah. Don't get me started on his Disney songs like Let It Go. Let it go, let it go. I am one with the wind and skyline. Or a Little Mermaid classic. Things in my bums, I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. He keeps us engaged. With hits like Cups, it's fucking making me want to stick needles in my eyes. When I'm gone, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. I think even Republicans are probably going to flush this piece of shit out of Washington. Why you feel the love tonight? You need to look too far. Can you feel the love tonight? No, George, we can't. Enjoy the pal is too. Now let's get to not well. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so yeah, uh, George Santos is a piece of shit and he's oh. now singing. He's a singer now. He's a singer, he's a drag queen. He's a dancer. He he's was a married singer. to a woman, but he's gay. He's <laughs> he's literally everything. He's, he's sounding like my husband. He's um, bringing <laughs> donuts for he is going uh, no. He's bringing donuts for all the media and being like, "You oh, guys really? are doing such a good job." So he's trying to kiss up to them so they like ignore I all feel of like, the scandals. Can I just yeah. say something? I do feel like he's trying to turn it now. Yeah. To make people like him. Like he's like when the guy, did you see the guy run up to him and go, "Who's going to be the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race?" Like, and he's like, this, oh, he loved that. And he moment. goes, he was like, he thought about it and he goes, this, this, se- season? this season? I haven't really watched it. Girl, what? you watched it. He you fucking watched it. Glued to the fucking TV. This bitch is leaving Congress yeah. early to go <gasps> watch RuPaul. <gasps> oh, Ru. In his walk up apartment in, in Washington. He's Honestly, probably, he's probably hosting the party dressed in drag to watch It's the a show. bunch of Democrats, but he's well, there. Okay. Well, could Nancy, he be an insult? What's it called? Actually, what if he retires he, and could, then like a Democrat wins his seat and then No, but what if the gag is is oh, he gets all cozy with the Republicans yeah. and he's like, just kidding, motherfucker. Ooh, yeah. I'm really a gay and I'm really a liberal. No. I don't think we're gonna be that lucky. I think he needs to be um resigned. Is that can you be resigned? I don't know, but he should be gone. He's got to go. Uh, on God. <laughs> got to hey, go. he's got to go. Uh, we're in our traditional um, Nashville. Winter, oh, winter yeah, Nashville mom. You're kind of more I'm Mexican. In Nashville. I know, a but I'm more Mexican. Yeah, but if I pulled off, like, if I had, like, uh, really tight jeans and boots on. This like, is a very traditional poncho. This is traditional, but I'm use, I'm white. So, like, of course, it's going to look it's bad. Nashville. So I'm in Nashville. It's, and it's I, Nashville. I, look at, I mean, honey. Honey, you're in an oversized. This. this is definitely not a Nashville party. Uh, we got to go get on one of those fucking trailers. <laughs> I want to be George Santos when I grow up. In I this. feel like you could be George Santos. You're just not fat enough. And underneath, of course, we underneath are. we have a little 
naughty bits. Some naughty bits, folks. We're going to uh, the bar tonight. We're trying to go we're touch being some horrors. dicks. We're um, going to be horrors, and we're probably going to see the bartender's dick, and I'm going to be drunk and be like, that oh. one again, the one up front. He's always showing it. He always it. wants to show it. He's, he's always, always like, pulling down his shorts and like, he wants to see my dick. Do you and ever? I'm like, uh, <laughs> well, I never asked, but I'm, I'll look. But, but I here's the thing. But yeah. Do you ever? Here's the problem. I know. Is that I get really fucked up, and then I say things, do things, da da da, and then I come on a Sunday afternoon, and they're like, hey, and I'm like, what did I say? Who the fuck are you? Well, this is why we feel like we're always in trouble because in trouble. when we are feeling frisky and naughty, we're there and we're like, yeah, show us your deck. And it's like, mm, we and people are said like, that. And maybe we were joking when we said it, but like, we, we shouldn't weren't. have said it. Well, no, so we weren't. We're, we're going to see Dick tonight. Um, <sighs> I know. I feel it, I, but except for I'm it getting is, that I'm getting that feeling. It's really cold out. But I think it's also trans puppy night. Early, <laughs> early. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I'm just being honest. Where you're going, fat ass? I just felt like I had a stroke because I was listening and you I was like. You kind of look like you had a stroke. <laughs> for like, I was like, oh, I didn't think that was a thing. Like those words, trans the, puppy. That's the funny thing how is that you had to really think about it. You're I like, was like, how can a dog can be I, trans? Dogs don't have gender, so how can a puppy? Do they not be have trans? gender? Do they not have gender? They, I don't think they do. I think they have sex. Male and female. That's a sex. That's biological sex. What's a gender? <laughs> oh no! We're fighting for equality well, here. I'm not here well. we go. <laughs> no, but wait. No, gender is a social construct sure. about what is man but and what is woman. But we still do it to dogs. We put them in bows. We put them in. We do apply so human gender do it, to yeah. puppies. So humans are like, doing it. They don't. They're not on their own. A doing puppy it. is not going to think I'm trans. Well, June likes to top. Um, yeah, Penny's been humping a lot. She looks like liquor. She has a been actually liquor. the past. Is that what they do? She, what no, she's mean? just wet. Not oh. her. Well, she pees all the time. She's a squirter. <laughs> <laughs> You're calling my six-month-old daughter a squirt. She's already like, six months old. <laughs> June just turned three. Yeah, June's honestly looking elderly. <laughs> she kind of is. Like she walks time. elderly. She's like she had a moment earlier. She's like, Argh! and I'm like, oh, okay. did she just bite the bone weird? Like, what's happening? Is she choking? Does she have cancer? Like all dogs get. Uh, she all dogs lumps. go to heaven. All dogs go to heaven, and all all their humans go to hell. Um, and all the trans puppies go to a wall. Um, and that's where we'll be. So celebrating. What is that? How did you know that? And what is I, that? I went on. I almost said I went on MySpace. Um, I went on Instagram and I saw tonight's night and it was like DJ blah, blah, blah and puppy night. And I'm like, God, I it's fine. We're going to go make friends. We'll make friends with puppies. OK, like, fuck well, it. OK, now I will admit when admit I was in something confession time oh, um, no. when I was in Mexico City masks like. Not a puppy mask, but like when Wrestler I was, when I was at, oh my God, yeah, they're kind of hot. I almost asked, well, there's someone at work. I want to ask if he'll wear it <sighs> when he's being Dom for me mm. and I'm the sub. And I was like, if you wore a mask, it would be over. Like I would melt. I would be done. I could die. If you Happy. put on a mask and took me into an alley. Why is it's like I don't have to see their face. Like I know, it's you know, it's like they could be hotter than they are. Maybe is that is that why yeah, I like they it? have a good body, but their face has right needs improvement. Like the face isn't necessary. Need some but then you see a mask, and you're like, oh, who are you? Are you're you like, gonna? Wait. Am I in trouble? Am Actually, I gonna get that hurt? Really, is the worst part of this pup thing? Is yeah, some some of them are not some of them attractive. are really I hot follow, bodies, and you're like, oh, trust fuck. me, I follow like, them on Twitter, and when they reveal a lot, yeah, we've 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 gone there with the the mouth situation. Um, <laughs> It's true. God. They're like usually they have like a chip tooth, not it's just bad. one. And um, they're looking out of dog bowls. So I mean, I, good for you or happy for you and your your situation and your trans trans uh, animal puppy situation. I'm not sure what to call it, but it, it reminds me of those animorph books. Yeah, do you remember those books where animal oh, humans transformed no into idea. animals? I used to read those, by the way. Listen, like regularly. Okay, this actually brings up a really good point that I had, and I have a video Bye. that I was trying to look up today. Actually, I was like Googling it all over, and I couldn't figure out what it was called because I wanted to do research on it and be like, here's what I found out. I am very fucking disturbed by some things that are happening on TikTok Lives. Okay. Senpai. Senpai. Why is this girl pretending to be Japanese? She's trying to be Japanese. And, and a she's cat. Try but what is this called? Like, what is this move where they're like, <laughs> meow, chow, meow, meow. <laughs> I can't. 
And they open their eyes really big like a baby doll. Nickel. I've seen, I guarantee you if Literally, I went on live right now, yeah, there would be, be, it'd, it'd be on there. So I'm just confused about what this, it's like an ASMR meets. I'm just <sighs> confused about the people that are like, I could better go on uh, TikTok to watch, watch Kitty some Girl. Latina, Latinx girl try to pretend play. to be a Japanese yeah. cat. And I oh, love that. It's like, like girl, you're like, not even Japanese. You're fucking from what? Idaho. Yeah, it's like, why are we watching that? I what? don't fucking know, and that's what I, I was questioning. I'm not trying to kink shame, but I'm just trying to figure out, like, what's going on? Like, why are people watching that? So, you know how we used to joke about ASMR? I really feel like that genre and that uh, is a very... It used to be really underground, but I think a lot more people will yeah. stop and listen than will admit. Uh, yeah. And I actually do. I personally do. Like, I like when they go the... Uh, yeah. Remember when I figured out that me watching these cooking videos was just ASMR? Right. Like, I was just watching them, like, there's no, like, human face, just hands. Yep. And it's like, chop, 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 chop. And it's like, shh. That is ASMR. Yeah, it, like, get your, it's actually visual ASMR. That's, like, a thing. Oh, and that's what oh, they're wait. doing. They're like, I'm freaking oh, out. You want? The cooking videos I would watch were always in a Japanese restaurant. <sighs> right. Oh, no, I am that person. I you was are. just like, what are you doing? You, uh, but you're so, not online, though. But you're not. The one that's doing it, though, I feel like it's weird when you're going. You're acting like you're an anime character in a you, cartoon. Okay, yeah, that's almost like do you know these are like real people cooking yeah. like ramen, right? Like oh, ramen, they ramen. Just boil water. No, uh, no, no. You don't buy water. <laughs> oh, what happened this week? Are we going really, there? Or I what? think we need well, to because people are recognizing you are going off. Like you're like. I do need to check one thing though first. Okay, okay. like yeah, one check thing with daddy do, first if you're allowed. No, we do. Um. I we have, have a voicemail. I have these. No, we don't have voicemail, but we have oh, a question. No. Do you believe in any conspiracy? Bobby does. Girl. Okay. Why, let's not ask Bobby about conspiracy well, theories one of because the he's going to go Q and on question? live. On live, he'll be Q and on. I'm not really a Q. I'm more I'm a, a Z. <laughs> okay, so we don't really have a voicemail. I tried to fake one and. I just it didn't work out. How for could me. it be any worse than that guy last week? Like, my girl. Well, it was actually a good one. one. It was a Reddit post. I can play okay. it here, and then we'll talk. I'll tell you what it's about. Okay. Hey, Bobby and Jim. My name is Riley, and I am supposed to have my first date in three years next week, but was just let off during my probation period. It wasn't a great fit. I wasn't surprised. I'm pretty shattered. But now I feel embarrassed going to the date, being like, "Oh, I just lost my job." I have good savings, so money isn't an issue, and I'm actively looking, but I feel like it's going to put a big cross on me straight up. How do I navigate? What would you guys do? Okay, so that's an interesting situation because <sighs> there is a lot of shame in being jobless. Now, there is, and I don't know why. I would try to reframe it as between jobs. Yeah, I mean, it, sometimes things don't work out, and honestly, a lot of the times, and by that I mean mostly every time, it's for the best. This is true. It, I, I feel like it is. I think most people are looking for someone with a solid job because, unfortunately, we attach a lot of value to what you do and what you produce, not who you are and, like, what you create. And it's more about, like, so what – you know, the, yeah. one of the most common questions you meet someone, you're like, what do you do? So what do you do for a living? And it's what like, does it matter? why are you reducing me to what I do for a living? It's so uninteresting to me. Like, when someone's like, well, I fucking sell cars. Well, I love it. Like, I do this. I do that. It's uh, like – I don't care. I'm sorry. But I want to know what you. Something. I want to know what you think about this topic. That's what I want to hear. And that's deep, and that's good. Oh, is that? Am I being stupid? No, you're not. No, but I think it's really funny because I, on the other hand, I'm like, oh, my partner Michael, he's a doctor, and I love playing uh, that fucking card. Oh, okay. Because people respect immediately because they know, honey, I don't need this. I don't need any. Oh, of Oh, because of money. Because you're like right. Because. Oh, well, my partner's a wow, doctor. Wow, you're going on a lot of trips. Yeah, my partner's a doctor. Yeah, fuck like, off. Sorry. Fuck off. Becky. And honestly, I didn't want a doctor, and that's the truth. You really didn't look. So, and no. this brings me back to some of the issues that the young gays are facing in yeah. our community. They're searching for things. They're looking for a specific type of guy. I was just talking to one of our gay friends earlier about, oh, well, I don't catch feelings often, but when I do, I'm looking for this. And it's like, what? You're looking for what something. What are you looking for? Stop looking. Stop looking. Just find someone who likes you. Here's an idea. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you like yourself? Wow. And I could take that. <laughs> I was like, mm, are you giving yourself advice? Okay. Yeah. I mean, honestly. My partner's a doctor. <laughs> it's like, Nickel. Yeah. It's like, like 
take that advice. So yeah, anyway, yeah. I, I, so what my advice for you would be, be honest, honestly, be honest, honestly, <laughs> that's the weed. I can't. Um, that's the weed. Be honest because again, we've talked about this before. You can't go into a date and be like, I just have a yeah. salad. Bitch, we know you eat six fucking tenders. Right. Okay. Like, don't. If you're be a dumb. sloppy cheeseburger eater, don't order a salad if on the day. If you get the sloppy cheeseburger, you're so yeah. much hotter. And people video, like often. And that's that video that I sent you with the guy screaming. Yeah. I'm gonna play it because I feel like it's me. Yeah. What's something you learned that absolutely blew your freaking mind? I yeah. still feel that fear holding you back. Yeah. I'm the fear. I give you permission. Deep breath. When you open your eyes, you're gonna be you unconditionally. Maybe for the first time in a long time. Feel that fear. Own it. Welcome it back. Open your eyes and as loud as you can, go. Ah! No one believes you. This is it. We're going to move on. You're going to miss the opportunity. Do it. Ah! Is that you being real? So why aren't you? No one wants you to be cool. No one wants you to be that image of you. People want to see what's inside. Last chance. Coolness, the front doesn't resonate. Authenticity does. For That's real. you. You fake it the scream. first three times, and then we're ah! kind of like, we're like, Bobby, just do it. No, like if I was to really scream and be like a girl, and I don't want to scream like a girl, I, just, I, I wouldn't do that. But that would not be the, right now. I mean, in your own time when I'm not here. Sure, sure. Um, but like that's anyway. That was the point of the video. Um, oh, I love that. I need to come out of my shell. It's time because you're, I have to tell I think you about. You are after this week. What happened this week? Let's just get into it because you're, I know, I'm you've like, been, I'm you like don't, really, you're nervous. You don't want to talk about it. I you, have a lot of, I think it's actually, I'm going to look at it differently than I normally do. I think it's a lot of progress actually for me. Wow. I like that. For um, me? from my, <laughs> I, <laughs> and for I didn't my, think you caught that. Damn it. I was like, I for me. For me. Uh, it's like when you tell me, I say so a lot. So here's, so, <laughs> so now, for me. so, okay. So for my, honestly, be honest. Well, honestly. At least I say, um, but I don't say it like the fun. Um, like you're like, yeah. um, I'm like, um, so yeah, it's so embarrassing. God, if I mean, you I, could see the actual fucking video, raw video, I would be, I would be it's horrified. It's horrifying. It is horrifying. Um, um, I had, so, um, I had a week. It started. So <laughs> it, my, what? you just threw up in your mouth. I know. Sorry. My cousin came last weekend. As we know, she was sitting right here. How'd you make her come? can't i'm sorry Wait, was that real yes. oh my god i'm like she just came really quickly uh <laughs> you've had enough death in your life for a little while the yeah. cousin the friend it's time to stop honestly the listeners are tired of hearing about it so my cousin <laughs> what in the fuck <laughs> like, <laughs> i can't i shouldn't have started off with like Japanese porn. Oh, you know? look, honey, oh, my shoulder's coming She's out. a sassy little whore. Oh, I hope the babysitter's going to stay late tonight so I can get lit. Oh, my God. And the I'm a Nashville Matt. mommy. <laughs> hey, Matt. Oh. He's the babysitter tonight. Matt is the babysitter. Fine. He needs to stay off his feet. Um, <laughs> just for general, in general. No, it's actually true, though. I mean, it's true. It's literally true. Just, let's, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> I had a mental fucking breakdown. And when I say I'm trying to act surprised. Oh, um, OK, so I don't really know. I'm not going to really go into detail on how it started. or <laughs> I'll go into some details about like what it is. OK, I was sitting right here and I was ready to record. And then something happened. A little conflict between Michael and I. That then set me on a roller coaster of emotions to the point where my therapist then put, and I quote, we probably should be getting to a psychiatrist sooner rather than later, unquote. That I'm going to tear you a new asshole. So I'm in trouble. That is in trouble. I would say that's a red flag when the therapist says you have to go to a psychiatrist because normally they're like, I can take care of this. And I. And I will say, I sent her my journal, and I oh. wrote my journal very sporadically, and it was very like, da, 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 da. she said flight of, she named it flight. flight of ideas. Yep. Grandiosity. She thought I was manic. She thinks I'm manic. I think she thinks I'm bipolar. And I know Are you're you texting manic? right now, so I need you to tell me what you're doing. Basically, long story short, I had a whole full breakdown of my entire life. I was crying over 
anything from my childhood to uh, the amount of views on YouTube. Um, or the fact that here's a fun one that it came out and I was like, I really don't know where this came from. I think it was because. So what? Sometimes I think that friends use me. This is okay. going to be great. This is going to be a great, great moment. Sometimes I think friends use me because I'm fat. It gives them permission to eat more. And I see it. And I'm going to say something. Do you think that's a real thing? Like, I think people are going to be like, oh, I'm going to hang out with Bobby. We're going to get a fucking stuffed crust pizza and I'm going to have ice cream. And I'm not going to feel guilty because he's fatter than me. Oh. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like a very yes. insecure, like, but I don't know. Are, are people actually doing that? Uh, I don't know. But like, Do we have proof. I kept thinking, I was like, I feel like it's just because I'm the fat one. Oh, no, I'm going to have a breakdown again. So then oh, that was happening. Then I was, no. And it was like tear. I was crying. And it was like not like. <gasps> it, it was, was like ugly cry. Si no. Yeah. No. It was ugly cry. It was silent cry, which is even. That's worse. That's a step like above. Drip, ugly, where you're just like, and I'm just like, and I just really. So anyway, and then I was like making fun of my like whole creative. Uh, and then I said, oh, my God, this is where I almost cried really hard. I go. What if. I'm just not as talented as I think I am. <laughs> and close it back together. Oh, no. It was bad. Uh, so, yeah. But then. But uh, you aren't. I know. And then I'm okay, like, maybe like, I'm not. Like, And then I was like, oh, you know what it was? Oh, I my think God. you are. Here's the thing, though. Can I say something? This is Holocene. I had my Holocene oh, moment. Oh, no. Yes. Why are you? Oh, yes. no. I, that was my Holocene okay. moment where I was like, wait a second. And at once you knew you were not significant. It, I meant to text you this actually because it was like I was like I just had my Halloween moment. Like I just had my moment. Like or I'm, magnificent. <laughs> I, was like, I will say significant. Magnificent. At once you knew. That's what all that of a sudden you hit a Bon Iver song yeah. called Halloween. Everyone check it needs out. to fucking listen to it. But basically, there's a line. At once I knew I was one. not magnificent. And it, there is a moment in everyone's life where you realize how small you are. So or that's I, hope, what it was, I hope you have that moment. It's like the combination of my mom being here and being like, yeah. okay, I don't, I'm the, you I'm have the adult your mom, now. I'm your the cousin. adult here. I'm the adult here. I'm running the show. Yep. It's scary. It's you. It's scary because I look at my mom still like she's Your mom age. fucking broke her ankle and you had to care for her for the whole weekend. <sighs> I know. As you're going to have to change her diaper in 10 years. Oh, like, I already said to her, I'm like, well, only, only you're thing going to a do. home. Yeah, they're going to oh, home for both parents. Honestly, this is the there's stairs. We can't do it, right? Unless we get a Hoyer lift. What if there's like a fire? Home? You can't. You can't do it. <sighs> they need to be able to be pushed out in a bed, out of the nursing yeah, home, we can't into do the. It. There's open not a main air. level here. Nope. But at my sister's house, there is a main level that she can live and on. And exactly. So, and that's on God. And there's like grandchildren to help her be grandchildren. Happy. She can go. All take you pictures. have is a dog who will be 18. Like it was also so like that was part, part of, of it. Blah, 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 blah. So I had the breakdown and I actually felt better after. And I really, really did. Was this a Monday or Wednesday? Monday. Oh, this is just the first breakdown of the week. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Tuesday rolls around though. And all of a sudden my mom calls me. So I pick up. It's my old haircut lady, Patty. Now Patty cuts my mom and my dad's hair and still cuts it. So like they, she schedules them on opposite <laughs> weeks in Georgia yes in Georgia this is in Georgia Patty has her own little your salon. haircut person from 10 years ago in Georgia or 15 years ago is on my FaceTime with my mom because my mom's getting her hair done and I hear when's the last time you saw Patty years this is freaking me out so okay. you know how I'm like oh my god nobody watches me nobody likes me she goes oh. Bobby I gotta tell you and I'm like well she's kind of like Jersey she goes I have to tell you I was I, my grandson has the TikTok, and I got on it no. and I started scrolling and all of a sudden there's a video of you talking about Lisa Marie and I'm like, holy fuck, this is Bobby. Oh, uh, yeah. This is when you went viral. Correct. So okay. that got their her attention. Got the her attention. Oh, and, oh that was an interesting noise. OK. Um, and so then she goes. So then I clicked your page. You guys are fucking hysterical. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, my God. So I went from, like, being at a low to being, even though it was Patty, and she was, like, my fucking, like, Patty, we love you. Patty, we love you. And I don't honestly, even know you, but I love she's you. She's actually really fun, except for. She's Patty, would you cut my hair? She's really good at cutting short hair like that. Um, well, I would hope it's just a razor. So 
I went from like a low to then my mom apologizing and then Patty. And then I had decided that I was going to tell my boss to fuck off. Yeah. I was so calm. I had a little issue with my boss and I called him out in a meeting and he was not happy with this. He goes, Bobby, you have a second for me? <laughs> of course I have a fucking second for you. Like, of course. I give like, my whole life to you. But he acts like he's not going to like talk to me about it. And then he starts off with a whole different subject and he's shaky and da 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 Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, God, oh, God my fucking pussy. Oh, I don't think there's going to be a way to clear up what the resentment is. It's the, like, I don't feel like you, um, like, even in the meeting when I'm trying to say something, to, you always jump in and you're kind of, like, always over-talking me. And so I really feel like I don't have a solid voice here. Okay, well, I think you do, so... Gaslight, gaslight, yeah, gaslight. gaslight. Well, I think you do, so you're an idiot. Why do you feel that way? Well, I think you do. Okay, well, I'm telling you yeah. what I'm feeling. So if you think I do, you're obviously not good at doing right. a good job expressing that to me. And as my boss, that's your job. That's literally so it. So you aren't doing your fucking job, okay? The only job of a boss is to support the staff. Why so do you want to do so not, much? Yeah, like, right. If they're directing you and they're taking away your voice and telling you things, they're fucked up. If they're giving you Some. the support you need to drive your own vision forward, they're doing their job. So basically, he's a, uh, oh, he's so I had a, a forty-five minute mess. conversation he's with him a, though, and uh, said, "Great." And I was like, I kind of like felt really powerful. Like I was like, okay, yeah, well, I had my Holocene moment, and now I'm gonna fucking go out and be like, I don't give a fuck anymore. Because when he said that, I was like. There it is. I, I you're almost like, went there even it is. more into yeah, you're like, like I was like, oh really? So I'm wrong. I'm like, well, here's the problem with so the my resentment feelings situation. Are wrong. Um, yeah, like, I'm not gonna be able to stop the resentment because here's the problem. That was such a good thing to say. Kind of was. I think he's you like, really, freaked out about because it because it's the resentment is not gonna go away until he acknowledges what he has caused you. And with my therapy training, I know he will never. He be can't. able to do that. He's a narcissist. So that's why I point blank said to You're him, like, nope. you will not be able to get rid of the resentment because yeah. you'll just continue to piss me off. No amount of ice cream sandwiches in the freezer are <laughs> going to get rid of it. Or no amount of flowers you bring to the front or desk. Or the, like, hey, Bobby. <laughs> Hi. Like, why are you in my office talking to me all fun and nice? Like, don't fucking do that to me. I love this. You little whore. Yes, so, yeah. So I him. had a fucking week. So to ice it off, I was like, you know what? Michael's going to New Orleans this weekend. Right. He's Jim's gone. off. Yep. I'm here. I said, we're going out. And we're, we're gonna, touching dick. We're going to touch dick at the, at the bar. We're going to eat some pizza beforehand. Oh, like, oh. And we're going to the bear bar so we can eat a little pizza. And we're I watching RuPaul it. first. And then we're going to oh, go to the bar. Okay. I'm getting more excited as you say. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun I'm night. like, wait. So I'm good. I'm okay. I talked to my therapist on Wednesday and she understood my letter more. And she's like, yeah. okay, I'm feeling a little better about you, but I do need to see a psychiatrist still, quote unquote, um, which is fine because I'm agree. ready to fix my medicine and I'm actually going to go on. Ketamine. I don't know if the pro is you have a big dick. Is it true? Yeah, I'm going on ketamine. I'm going to fucking kill Infusions. you. If you go on ketamine and Ozempic at the same time, I literally will. Ke Shh. Oh, I should. I take it back. Too soon. Last uh, week, I had a warning on our YouTube. Like, if you're, if you want to commit, like, the very beginning, I call like 988. Little, yeah, I, 988. I shouldn't have said that. Fuck, now we're ruined. Are we allowed to say KMS? <laughs> KMA. Kiss my ass. Okay, I like that. We'll okay. say that. So, do you have anything that you yes. want to bring? Okay. Okay. So, here's a few things. Um, okay. So, it's coming back to me. Let's go back to 2020. Let's go back to George Floyd. Just a minute. And it kind of like went away from our memory. And then we have Tyree. I don't understand the purpose of police anymore. <laughs> like, I'm just going to be completely honest. I don't think that good people go into policing anymore. And I know that's like controversial, but I'm kind of wondering at this point how you can be someone who's a good person and go, you know what? I'm going to join these people. I think that's a great idea. I am seeing so many just unnecessary deaths that are, and the worst part about it is the police know they have body cams on, and yet they're still killing people who are running away from them. And it's just like, and then after the person dies, they go and write a police report that's a complete lie that they should know. They should be it's smart enough be to seen. know it's going to be seen and be like, no, that's not true. Everything you wrote is a lie. So I'm wondering why you're like, oh, I should go into policing. Like, who are these people who are like, oh, I got to be a police officer. There was a person killed in Ohio who was cleaning out his dead grandma's apartment. And the police said they oh, thought yeah, he was a burglar. This is in Ohio just like last week. 
and they shot and killed him. Wait, last week? Yeah, in Ohio. They said, oh, well, he drove the van at us, so we're going to have to kill him. And we're like, where's the video? His dad was with him who survived and was like, I want to see the video because I know that's not what happened. The van wasn't even pointed at the police. But the police said he was a burglar. Why are they even trying to kill someone who was a burglar? You know what I'm saying? Like, shoot out the tires. I, actually wanna, like, I don't understand why police are killing people when they have a gun. If they're so well trained, why aren't they like shooting out their knees? To prevent them from running away. Right. It's These people are unarmed and running away and cops are shooting them to kill. What is happening? Like That's why I'm like, so you're going to become a cop because you think it's such a good. My grandfather was a police officer. My grandfather was a pilot. And it's like, but you're watching what's going on now. And it, that's just the other thing and with Tyree. Everyone's like, oh, well, see, it's not. It's black on black crime because they were black. I'm like, no, this is proving that it's policing, policing that is the problem. Policing. If it's happening in every major city and if it's happening among white cops, black cops, Asian cops. All the cops. Then it's a policing problem. There is no training our way out of this. It's just policing. Well, did you see there Atlanta, is a systemic they have police, problem? Or they're calling it Cop City and they're yeah. literally. Did you hear about this? They literally killed someone but no, but they're, who was trying to defend the land. Yep. They just killed him. And they're, they're like, defending oh. the land. You want to know why? Because what the Atlanta, city of Atlanta is trying to do, the <laughs> policing system, is take down 800-something acres of forest right. to recreate a mini Atlanta so they yep. can train. So they can train them. Train. You train have a, for what? You have a forest purifying the air in a very polluted city, and they want to destroy all of this forest, this old-growth forest that we have in the South, to train cops. There has been hundreds of millions of dollars since George Floyd poured into training police it's not working it's not working the cops are not there is racism ingrained in policing they came from catching runaway slaves and here we are today we're seeing the results of what's it what's really fucked up too is that we as white people <laughs> yeah seriously i like, know i mean I know. it's like we're raised to think we gotta oh, call the police a, oh there's, there's a, a black guy walking down the street oh my god what is why why is the there a black fuck? guy in our neighborhood right it's so I remember bad. growing up and being like, he doesn't live here. Why is he in our neighborhood? It's, that's what our right. parents are telling us. And that's what they were taught. And, that's and what, then and when we like, see a police officer, it's like, show some respect to the police officer. What are you going to not call a police Why? Man? Now I'm going, why? Well, now it's for sure why. You had five black guys kill another black guy who literally was saying, please. Oh, my God, I can't. It's so He's calling for horrifying. his mother because he's right by his mom's and house. And he's about to die. It's just why, like George why are like, we killing? Stop, why are we stop. beating and killing people running away from you? They don't have a weapon. Why are you killing them? That's why it's like this is not a race, just a race problem. It's a policing problem. And I don't. There's I, no amount of training our way out of this. And that's, that's it. And I get it. And as devil devil's advocate, kind of like I'm not sure what the answer is or like. I know the answer isn't more <sighs> more funding for police. No, it's I know more the answer isn't more not training. training. It's like more like. We it's need a joke. more community it's all a joke. leaders as yeah. police officers, not these funds could go to other things. Well, and speaking of funds, really quick, I just have to show you this while you're in the middle of this conversation because it's totally yeah. We're getting red for filth in Columbus because of um this. Yeah, you want to read that out loud? Be the be the peace you wish to see in the world, and it's a read the, another one. The Columbus Police Department introduces their Black History Month cruiser, History One. Now I want you just to read some of these comments. <laughs> Like, just read some of the comments. Okay. Here's one. How about funny mental health programs and proper training instead? Another one. For y'all to hop out it and swing on the very community the vehicle's supposed to celebrate. Next one. No, we're still not impressed. We didn't ask for this at all. Another PR stunt. Just let us enjoy our month in peace. And for the record, we asked for reparations, not this BS. I'm thinking treating us fairly would be a much better gesture. This is so, so no one's agreeing with it. So what are we doing? Who is voting? No one on wants. These no one wants this. I'm so done with government. Like I, I know. think it's like a fucking trash box. We have George Santos well, yeah. representing us in the House a whole of new Representatives. World. He's one of 435 people elected in our entire country to represent us. He made it up. He, he lied. He lied. The whole thing's a lie. But people voted for him because they're dumb enough to be like, oh, we need a Republican. And I know it happens on both sides. I'm not saying this sure. is just Republicans because there are Democrats elected. Well, honestly, that you're like, how did they get elected? But it's, like it's more than, Republican. Um, <laughs> this is more Republican. Lie. This is more a Republican problem, it's a problem. since Trump, since lying since was Trump, normalized. Trump normalized lying. People are like, lying is the norm. Oh, we can get away with it. We can do whatever we want. I mean, so Santos got 
all these donations from people for no reason because he just had an R next to his name. And people in Long Island were like, eh, we like Republicans. Uh, he's queer, Go but we him. need some queer like Mexicans in our, our party. It's like, it, and he's not even Mexican. But for Columbus of all places to put out a Black History Month cop car, I mean, they're it's killing crushed. people for holding a Subway sandwich in their garages. That's what we have in Columbus right now. What is happening? I don't know. It's really disturbing. They're it's trying really... to be like, oh, we support Black History Month. But don't you feel like No, you all... don't. You're killing black people for no reason. Right. Like, so you're going to drive that That's cruiser Columbus around. Police. You're going to drive that cruiser yeah. around and then arrest black people and probably kill them. Got it. They're, oh, running, they're running away from you. They don't have a weapon. You we're going to criminalize being homeless. We're going to criminalize yes, being I like, I mean, like, hey, I can't afford a house. I can't afford That's a car. Illegal. I can't we're afford gonna... a car. So I have to walk home. And now you're a suspect because you're walking because you yep. have to, and you have a hoodie on. Yep. It's Trayvon really shitty. Martin. It's really shitty. He walked through a neighborhood with a bag of Skittles, but because he had a hoodie on, George Zimmerman said he was a threat and killed him. And what happened to Zimmerman? Well, besides the fact that he's crazy and he everything's falling apart in his life, which we he didn't get happened. in trouble with the law. No, he didn't get in trouble with the law. He killed someone because they were threatening and they attacked me. He went out to buy a bag of Skittles, a teenager, but because he was black and wearing a hoodie, he got killed. That's the history of our country. That's just the past 15 years. We're not even focusing on the whole oh. thing. It's like Kyle Rittenhouse goes to a protest with a giant gun. He's not even from that city, but he says he's protecting property. He just went to kill black people. And we know that. And now he's raising money. Money's being raised. He's for a Republican a candidate. He'll yeah. be a politician Trump, before we know it. Trump hosts him at the White House and is like, look at this guy. He's great. He went to protect property in a city he doesn't live in mm -hmm. with an That's automatic rifle. He went to kill and hunt black people. We can see that. Like we're not. And the thing is, the Lord always gets you. Look at look at yeah. look at Trevon Martin guy. That's What's exactly. His name? Zimmerman his name. fell apart. Zimmerman. Yeah, he like, got divorced once again. The Lord gets. He's you. on trial again for another incident. Like he's yeah, that was another crazy. thing. Yeah, it haunts these people. These people know they're wrong, but they want to claim righteousness. It's eventually their life falls apart. This is the theme of life. You cannot folks. be a bad person and say you're a good person and then live a good long life. It doesn't happen. And you can't lie about like, for example, it doesn't our, happen. our phone call. Uh, yeah. You life is about being authentic and true. Just and tell the person you're on a date with that you don't have a job. right. Sorry, now. I lost my job. I Just didn't tell do them. well enough in the probation area. If they can't accept it, then fine. Then because why? what if They're something bad? Yours. What if something bad happens on the road and this person you lied to can't handle the fact that you lost a job? You don't want to be with them, so no. tell them the truth up front. If it's someone who can say that's a that's hard, I'm 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 sorry you have to go through that right now. It, that's okay with me. Like I've lost a job before, it's fine. Yeah, it's tough. Let's just try dating. Let's it's go tough. through it. It's that's tough. who you want to be with. So be authentic. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. And right now, my truth is I'm not sure. You know, it's like. I hear this like, oh, well, a lot of good people go into policing and then the culture destroys them and that's why bad things happen. I, I'm starting to not believe that. I just don't feel like I think you'd have to be blind and deaf at this point to go into policing and be like, I'm going to do good in policing. I don't think you are. It's interesting. If you're a police, I thing, don't honestly give us yeah, a call. If you're a, like, if you're a good cop, I want to hear from we you. We want to hear from you. How, did you, be, how did you become a good cop? What, are you, what are you doing, doing to, change to, to the change the culture? Yeah. Because yeah. right now it's a culture of death. Right now you're going after everyone and you're killing them and what's for no crazy reason. Is that what's really even almost more sad is that they're actually more scared than the original. That's what they and say, that's like and crazy. that's what they peddle to the Republicans. Well, like, I get it, but we're like, scared for our lives. Everyone hates. But cops I think now. they're scared. We don't hate cops. We don't hate. We cops. didn't hate cops before. I don't hate. I, I honestly now. Like, Black people have had good reason to hate cops forever I mean, because of where policing came from. White I mean, people are finally waking up to it because we're like. It's finally being recorded by phones, and we're seeing it. Since Rodney King, it's like, oh, wait, cops do this? Yeah, Rodney King. Oh, wait. That's what started it when people were finally like, finally white people woke up. They're like, wait. And since happening. George Floyd, it's accelerated. Like, oh. But it's still not so stopping. So the black people weren't lying. Like, they're actually targeted. They're actually being killed for no reason. <sighs> It's a sad world. I think we're all going to hell. And honestly, like, there's about to be a war in, in, with Russia and, you know. I know. Uh, we're going to start a new segment called Chat GPT News of the Week, where I'm going to give a story to Chat GPT, Chat GPT, and allow them to spit out their jokes. I'll go first. All right. Chinese spy balloon. Have you heard about this? 
One moment, please. Looks like the Pentagon is having a balloon scare over the U.S. skies, but don't pop the party just yet. <laughs> it's not just any old balloon. It's a suspected Chinese surveillance balloon. U.S. officials say they're keeping a close eye on it, but really, how much of a threat can a balloon be? They can't do any harm, can they? <laughs> oh, wait. It's potentially collecting information on our communication systems and even our cell phone traffic. But hey, at least it's a drone. It's not a drone, right? And who knows? Maybe it's just a blown off course balloon lost in the sky trying to find its way back to China. But, but until then, the Pentagon is keeping a tight grip and China says they're trying to figure it all out. So, folks, let's just sit back and watch the skies, but not too close. You never know what kind of signals you might be picking up. There's a balloon floating around the goddamn United States right now. And it went over Montana where so a lot of our missile silos are. Interesting. So it's like, uh, why is there a balloon? Are they balloon? spying for Russia? Are they spying? Are they spying for Russia? I know. It's a little suspicious. And China today was like, oh, well, it's a it weather was a balloon. weather balloon. We don't know how it got over there. Bullshit. It's like, girl. Right. right. So we're about to have a World War III. Um, yeah. Uh, news. What's the second story? Walmart bans women for riding an electric cart. Guzzling wine from a Pringle scan. You won't believe the latest news from Walmart in Wichita Falls, Texas. Police got a call about a suspicious person, and what did they find? A woman cruising the parking lot on an electric shopping cart, sipping on wine from a Pringle scan. <laughs> Can you imagine? Three whole hours she spent riding around, living her best life. But the party didn't last forever. The police eventually caught up with her in a nearby restaurant <laughs> and banned her from the store. No arrest was made and no names were released. So, folks, if you're looking for a wild ride and a drink, just head on over to your local Walmart. Grab a cart and pop open a can of soda, that is. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? Well, I can imagine she must be white because a black person would have been shot and killed. Yes, queen. She just rode around for three hours. on. I mean, she's white. It's crazy to think that there are people that literally get those scooters and ride around. And you know they don't need it. Half the time, I feel bad. There's like an old person hobbling in. There's no available carts. And then you see a 35-year-old morbidly obese person riding around, and you're just like, okay. You know what's the difference between me and other fat people? You walk everywhere feel, and take care of your body. Well, sure, but I also feel guilty about it. Where <laughs> these people are like, you're going to – yeah, I'm fat. You don't get it. It's like you made yourself fat, honey. It's really weird. Like, that's a weird concept to me. Like, you, you have never tried to claim fat privilege. No, I'm I've embarrassed. Never seen it. I'm like, oh, my God, I don't want to be f like. And there's these people who ride around. Well, I need it for my health. It's like, girl, there's stop people with eating. There's, do you have a handicap placard? No. Absolutely not. And I know people who do. And correct. And that's kind of my point is like there's a difference between when you're inconveniencing other people yeah. versus when you have control of your life. And you're like, you know what? Yeah, I'm fat, but I can manage. But I can manage, and yeah. I'm learning to grow, and I'm trying to get a prescription of Wagovi. Okay. And next, next story. chat, GBT. NYC gay bar facing <gasps> pocketing. Oh, this sounded weird. <laughs> so listen to this. Three men in their late 30s and 40s go to a gay leather bar in Chelsea, the Eagle <gasps> NYC, and end up losing thousands of dollars. How? You ask? The police think some smarty pants used facial recognition to get into their phones and steal their money while they were incapacitated. Does that mean your head's off? Okay. Uh, okay. The criminals probably offered them some good drugs. <laughs> Once they got into the car, they don't remember what happened. That's not that funny. That's so basically, the story. Get, yeah. So, so a bunch of like fucked up, drugged up people. So a bunch of robbed. fucked up gays were outside of the Eagle being like, oh my fucking God. I saw God. this story actually. Mm -hmm. You're right. I saw the video. And they of this. came up to him and said, "Video, I'm gonna They're fucking like, shoot you. Show me your fucking phone and Venmo. Like, yeah, basically, like probably Venmo themselves. I don't know how this works though. Like, guys, like I would be we... like, let me go inside and get my wallet. I'll pay you. Go inside, never leave. And then that panty guy that's standing there with his penis out all the <gasps> whole time will be like, and they'll be like, never mind. We don't want to rob this place. Like, I don't know what's happening here with this lycra <laughs> situation or whatever the fuck this is called. Remember when we were like going into the Eagle and we were really getting grilled by like the doorman? Like, the, yeah, it was scary. He was like. Why the fuck are you here? Yeah. We were like, to have fun. We're from Ohio. Like, we said that, and that worked, because he was like, oh, okay, oh, come Ohio. on in, boys. You guys are like corn fed and white bread. Got it. And that's With the crust cut off. You got the last one, folks. The last chat GBT news of the week. TikToker fakes cancer. 
We have a real winner here. This is a winner. A 19-year-old TikToker named Madison Russo was charged with theft for scamming hundreds of GoFundMe donors out of over $30,000 by faking her cancer diagnosis. She claimed she had acute lymphoblastic leukemia, stage 2 pancreatic cancer, and a massive tumor wrapped around her spine. There's a first red flag. Right. Oh, three different types of cancer. Right. But anonymous witnesses with medical expertise pointed out all the medical discrepancies in her social media post. And get this. All the medical records obtained through a subpoena showed that she was never diagnosed with cancer or tumor at any medical facility in the area. Can you believe it? This young woman played on people's kindnesses and sympathy. I'm sorry. What was that? You just said? <laughs> I was waiting for you to like, are you listening? Yeah, no, I thought the ring camera was. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm monitoring. Here? No. Can you believe it? This young woman played on people's kindness and sympathy to scam thousands of dollars. That's just low and unethical. And what's even more ridiculous is that she's a student at St. Ambrose University. I guess she's getting a degree in scamming 101. <laughs> Good job, Chat GPT. I'm Kane. Thank you, Chat JBT. Um, that's horrifying. Faking if you're can faking cancer to get money, sounds like something you do. Of no, I would never because that's karma, honey. I don't fucking play with cancer. I don't play with that game. Also, your name's Madison. That's my Matt, fake. That's, that's my fake character. Madison name. Russo. Like, yeah, like girl, you sound like a goddamn joke. Fuck Brent, you, Brentley. I love how she's like, I have cancer, but she's like tan, yeah. looks good, not losing any yeah, weight. Right. It's like all her hairs there. It's like cancer. But also, my question is, what are we donating? Like, what are yeah, we doing? Yeah, my question for the people who donated, what? Why? So you went on a or GoFundMe how, for or, some attractive young girl who said she had three different types of cancer, and first you all, raised over thirty thousand dollars for her. Can like, you are you okay? Can are you, you guys imagine? okay? I would never give my money, my hard-earned money, to someone claiming they have three types of cancer. I'm not a fucking idiot. That's right, why. Like you're dead. Then I'm not first a fucking of all, idiot. Second of all, <laughs> how embarrassing for her parents. How embarrassing for her friends. Like, can you fucking... The whole you, situation is embarrassing. Like, Honestly, that's friendship over for me. Yeah. Oh. Like, 100. Done. Like, done. you are such a piece of trash. Yeah. I can never trust you again. Ever. You're just a trashy... You scammed people disgusting. out of their money. You're disgusting. And you're going to die of cancer early. And that's the problem. Well, is that, one can only hope. And um, then she's like, I really have cancer. And nobody's going to care. And you just Have you heard up. of the girl who cried wolf? Madison? Madison. Madison. We're going to write, write a new child. But you're at a small private university, a Christian university. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. It's on brand. No, it's literally on, it's on brand. brand. I'm, I just was thinking about that earlier today. I'm so sick of the Christians. Same. God, We got to at least say it once an episode. You know what once I mean? Once an episode. Like, fuck, fuck the, the Christians. Christians. <laughs> so. So, sundries? Or do you have anything else? Uh, that's going to be my sundry, I think. Yeah. I've got a sundry, too. Do you want to go first? Or you want to go first? It's up to you. I've got a sundry. Okay. All right. My sundry is that I am sick and fucking tired of pleats. I'm seeing a lot of otherwise mm. youngish, hot, attractive men. Some of them look like dads. Some of them look like Mormon missionaries. But that's hot. They have right, but they have like. pleats on their pants. This is not the 1980s. Like we don't need pleats anymore. Why are you even buying them? And when you buy them, you make the designers and the clothes sellers think, "Oh, people are buying these pleats." So they up the fucking. Uh, so they make more pleats pants. Pleated pants are out. Pleated pants have never been in. Well, maybe they were in in the 60s, 70s, 80s. Maybe I don't know for sure. Like even my grandpa's pants when we were going through the closets after he died, not all of them were pleated. They so were fading I, out. I just don't understand though why I'm seeing thirty-something-year-old men who are otherwise attractive walking around in pleated pants. They're not hot. It instantly is gone. I look down below the the belt and I'm like, that's there's pleats. There's pleats. No. they look baggy. They look. I can't see a bulge. There's no VPL. You look like your great great grandpa when you wear pleated pants. Stop wearing pleated pants. Thanks. Now my question is, are they wearing white underwear underneath there? They're wearing white briefs. It's not just white underwear. It's not white boxer briefs. Do white you, underwear. White briefs. Do you know that I think that's so fucking hot? You're an asshole. And I don't like you. <laughs> yeah, I really think I'm it's sorry. Hot. White briefs or white boxer briefs? Oh no, white breeze. When they're older. So you like Mormon? You like Mormons? You oh, like Mormons? for sure. I, Mormons are Mormons are going to wear ginger, usually blonde. Oh no, Bobby. I'm going to be in trouble. Well, I guess they wear their holy underwear underneath. So I'd be like, can I get in this holy? Un can I reach into that? How do we get in this pocket? How here? do we make this an unholy underwear? How do we see that cock? Um, 
So yeah, I you actually have like... a fetish on white. Like I really do. Like I have. I think it is so hot when a business guy is wearing whitey tighties. I don't know why. I don't know where. I don't know I... how. I think oh, it is so no. hot. See, I got in trouble as I got bullied for wearing tidy whiteies. Same, but that's why you have trauma. This is trauma oh, speaking. So but if I didn't of, have take trauma, away the trauma, think yeah, about like a daddy. Yeah, I would love the it. The hottest daddy you know. Okay, fine. Walks in, even if he had pleated pants on, and he pulls down those pleated, and then all you see is top leg and that under. Oh my god! A little bit of like yeah, pale mm -hmm. blonde hair. Yep. <laughs> we have never really talked about pale blonde hair. Um, well, actually, we kind of have. Oh we're no! Ginger, we're, I've sent you some of these arms. Like when I see an arm with. Pale, pale blonde hair. hair. And it's, <laughs> oh, fuck. Wait, we'll see some pale blonde hair. Like, and it's just like thick. But it's thick. But it's like, thick. It's but, thin, you can but, visible, you can see but it's visible. Right, but it's visible. Literally. Okay. Um, oh, no. Now my I'm sundry. feeling slutty. What's oh, your sundry? Oh, he's, oh wow. This I'm happened. ready to touch dick. This is Batman and Robin here. Um, my shoulder's been out for a while. That now. literally, he, like, goes, he slides out. He's like, mm, I'm ready to touch honey, a cock. I want to touch a dick. Okay. I wanna, oh, I want you to come fuck ah, me in the ass sometime. Ah, I'm Liza Minnelli. Come touch my dick. Oh, she's okay. a big old clit dick. Uh, my she sundry, lives in a wheelchair now. Yeah, true. So, Well, she's got it. Lady Gaga. Um, so... My sundry is. <laughs> oh no. Also, maybe I have BPT. BBD. Bye, bye, bye. I literally <laughs> can't stop spending money. <laughs> By that, I mean it's not a lot. <laughs> it's God. a little, but a, but every day. Like, I go on this thing called Deal News and they send me these links. They're like, today, I mean, I got a $8. <laughs> no, but I got $8 sweatshirts. From Coles, big and tall, like champion and Oh, okay. I like yeah. I love that. Okay, so champion. that okay, that's sixty dollars. Okay. Well, that's uh -huh. fine. Yeah. Okay. Next thing. Oh, well, this shower head's on sale and these little thing. Okay, let me get that. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. Uh mm, now King Size is having a sale though. So oh, I have to get like I'm never gonna run out. And the cycle is not stopping. Like I literally This is like Matt with trains. It is so, and it's like me with this shit. It's like, I cannot. You can't, I can't. pass up a deal. <sighs> but I have to start. <laughs> like, I've got to stop spending. I mean, your partner is a doctor, so. So I do have a little like, background you have a, stability. You have a cushion. A you little. A little cushion. Oh, oh well, you got a cushion. Oh, no, I got a cushion, cushion for there. the pushing. Um, but but it's, it's not healthy. It's getting Every bad. time you see a deal, you can't just snatch it up. But it's so good. They're like three dollar big and tall sweat shirts. And I'm oh like, I yeah, have to. fuck that. Yeah, yeah. But then I was like, I $3, need free yeah. shipping, so you have to spend fifty dollars. Yeah. So, uh, so I know how to get you. It's kind of like sports fall, betting. I I'm also into that. This. Oh, now I was. I do think I need to join some of these apps because they're giving away two hundred dollars uh, for I'm free. Send, can I send you my link? Yeah, let's just do it. Okay, because yeah. you'll get some too. Yeah. Because I, when I heard that, I was like, wait. No, that's why I signed up. I signed up to four different ones, and I probably made $600 And you can free. just delete them. Right, so. Yeah, you, but when you say you made $600, like, is it in your bank account? Well, not yet. No, right, you gotta, exactly. Like, well, right, you got to leave the situation. Which, that's time to leave. If you, I'm going to send you a link. We're doing FanDuel. We're doing fucking Barcel. We're going to get Oh, we got to fucking do we're it. We're racking them up, Oh, babe. we're going to make some fucking money. We're going to make some fucking oh. Uh, oh fuck! Make daddy rich, golden so fingers. So you just like feed it, fed into my spending habit, but that's fine. But that's a good sundry because we got to break that habit. We got to break that habit. So when they listen to this, we'll be a week and a half away from Gay Ski Week. Oh, I, also, I have an announcement. Well, I'll tell you after. So you do have cancer? No. Okay. If I had cancer, I'd be skinny. I'm eating fucking slim and trims for lunch for breakfast for lunch. I feel sorry for you. Yeah. No, honestly, smoothie king is so Let's, good. Okay. And the slim and trims are like eight points on Weight Watchers, and they're filling. Yeah. Well, that's what I need. I need something filling low points. That's what I've, I've been doing. And Weight I Watchers. can't just like carry around a sweet potato I've at all times. I've literally been doing Weight Watchers. Literally, it works. I'm gonna it be works. honest. It fucking it works. Just sucks. And so I need. Oh, so I'm a little no, drunk. It's so I'm a little tipsy. So I have a headache. Much whole grain rice on the purple plan. Like I cannot with Weight Watchers. <sighs> I had so much pasta. I was like, what am I doing? Yeah, the whole wheat. But I did lose weight. So Weight Watchers oh work. Oh fuck. Yeah, we gotta do it. This like, is not an ad. Weeks, this though. is not an ad. It's not an ad. Just like Coke Zero, we also aren't sponsored by them. Um, but we should be. We should be. Honestly, if you want to call us. Hey Coke Zero. Um also please pray for me, even though it's already over. I don't pray. What's that? Well, tomorrow I take my drone test 
for my future, and it's hard. But I might be a pilot starting tomorrow, um, just like your grandfather. And then I can be like, my grandfather was my a pilot. Grandfather and was a so pilot. am I? I'd be like, I'm a pilot. Um, so that's that. Okay. Uh, make sure you. Call. We need some calls. I'm We're really gonna need some voice voicemails. And if you know what, at this point, if you want to mumble into the voicemail, fine, we'll interpret a, it. We just interpret. Mumble. It. Just send it. Well, also like. <sighs> I know it's it's rude. It's fucking rude. I like, feel rude and disrespected. Nobody's gonna talk to you either. Like I know way. some people are kind of scared. It's a fucking answer machine. Yeah, literally. And it's me going like, "Hi, welcome to Now Well. Make sure you say your name." It's so dumb. Okay, so just I fucking want, call. Now I know why they don't leave messages. Just call. Yeah. Le- just call. Oh, speaking of just call one if last you want thing, a little of this, which we need to do. We need to record earlier one day on okay. a weekday because uh-huh. we got to call Jacksonville. We'll do it at we'll do it in Utah. The Baptist Church. Yeah. Uh, they called me back. I'm They're sure like, they "Hey, did. we were wondering." Uh, did you want something or? And I'm like, oh my God, they really heard the queer yeah, thing. Yeah, we want an anti queer church. So we're going to call them more in Utah. So anyway, we can have to Utah when you listen to this. Bobby might be a pilot. Jim, do you have anything going on that we need to talk about? Everything good? We're all- I'm avoiding STDs. Is your bariatric surgery? Or what's your thing happening? When does oh, that happen? This week? The day before Valentine's. No, on Valentine's Day. I'm having an EGD on Valentine's. Okay, so, so I am getting deep throated on Valentine's Day, but it's not by a human. It's really weird because I feel like it's by a camera. <sighs> Do you stay awake for that? It's like a sedation twilight oh, so you're type like thing. Twilight. I'm like, so uh, probably all. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, like you're doing great. And, and they're like, like, like pumping in, pumping the fucking pump it fucking ball. in. They're literally in my stomach. I'm I like, wish I could yeah, like. Fuck. I wish I could um Watch. film. You should be honestly. Able to. You may be able to. But like, hi, I need a media pass because he needs to be, and I'll film it for everyone. I would love that. Seeing you get, oh my god, I'd love to see you in Twilight. What, what if they're like, wow, he just takes this thing like a champ. You're just like, <laughs> what if they're like, we don't even need to sedate him. He's no. not even choking on You're like, let's try it. They're like, let's try oh, it. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I saw oh, it on oh, 600 oh. pound life, somebody doing that. And she was like, and they're like holding the bitch down. And I'm like, oh, this is fuck. fucking sick. Cause your body's automatically trying to get rid of it. Like it's really, mine might like it. I don't honestly, know. Honestly, I think you can take, oh, no, what if I, I get I, hard during it? And my like gown just will. goes up and I'm like, <laughs> you will go hard. Do you think well, no, they'll, they would, they would. I'd always want to look at people's penises in surgery, and that's horrible. And that's this episode. Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you subscribe, and make sure you go to our YouTube, our fucking Facebook. I'm selling underwear. There's all kinds of things happening, which I haven't even told you about, so we're going to show you. Leave a voicemail. Leave a voicemail. Call us, and we love you. Thank you. Goodbye. Peace. Peace. I will.